In this video, I will show you how the riser thickness and even the drywall thickness can create problems for a stairway that might not have been designed with enough room. And in this example, we are going to use 10 inch wide steps and built everything to the minimum. Three foot minimum here, three foot minimum on the bottom, and a three foot wide stairway. So three foot at the bottom, and then we will go ahead and attach the stringers the way most people are going to do it without taking into consideration the thickness of the riser, which is going to extend the stairway a little bit past the finished wall. Now, this isn't always going to happen if you bring the edge of the stringer to the end of the wall framing and then attach a three quarter inch riser to the stairway and a half inch piece of drywall or even a 5 eighths piece of drywall, a piece of drywall that is 5 eighths of an inch thick, then you can see where something like this might not be that big of a deal unless you haven't taken into consideration the thickness of the drywall on the other side, which could now bring this to the attention of the inspector. And this is the main reason why I'm making the video. All we need to do to fix something like this will be to move the stairway back if we can or leave the stairway where it is and extend the wall a little further and then move this wall a little further back. And of course that would look something like this where we would have three feet in between the front of the face of the drywall and the front of the face of the riser. However, we might not have three feet after we add some type of material like a finished wood flooring or carpeting over our stairs. So don't forget to compensate for those materials. Now, I know that a lot of builders don't do this because I've actually worked on projects where they've given me the okay or told me not to worry about it. And of course, I don't remember them having any problems with it. However, this doesn't mean you're not going to have problems with it. So it wouldn't be a bad idea if you can to either redesign the stairway or move some of the framing components like the wall framing to compensate for any materials that are going to create building code issues. And for those of you who aren't familiar with the building codes for stairway landings, then the minimum measurement for this area will be 36 inches or the width of the stairway, which can create another problem for your stairway. So you're going to need to check with your local building department to verify all of these measurements. And of course, you're probably thinking, hey, wait a minute, if they accept the building plans and they prove them, then you're not going to have any problems. And trust me, that is not the case. Your building plans can be approved and then the building inspector can come in and find something and that's it. You're going to have to fix it. So don't rely on your city, county, or state, country, whatever it is, planning department to catch everything. And to do that, you might need to watch a few more of these videos. Now, another thing I want to point out is that by adding materials, to the stairway. You could actually increase the width of the upper landing or floor. So keep that in mind when you are laying out your stairs also. The bottom, the top, the drywall, the framing, the minimum measurements, and of course the measurements for the steps. All of this stuff needs to be taken into consideration before and not during and definitely not after the project has been assembled.